Did you know that Path of Titan has a creature far more frightening than you could imagine? It is not the Spinosaurus. This one is even mightier. It is not the Giganotosaurus. This one is even more ferocious. And it's certainly not the T-Rex. This one is even more merciless. There is only one creature who fit this description. The only one who can bring terror into the even the mightiest of creature. The Consignatus. Yes, I'm not joking, this is happening. Hello, my name is Adam Botte, and rather than showing you how to play as the most ferocious Battle Titans creature, this is more of giving your enemies a chance in a fight. Do you believe that they actually stand a chance when you decide to go all... Okay, on a serious note, there is no way a comfy, no matter what situation, are ever going to win a fair 1v1 against any other species except its own. But that is not to say that the comfy can't win any fights. As a matter of fact, there are a few circumstances the comfy can win. In this video, we will be going over the comfy's arsenal, the choice of subspecies you should choose to grow, the terrain compatibility, and what type of fights you can find yourself in. Although, it's a bit different this time. The fights you'll find yourself in will most often, if not every time, except if you fight your own species, will be unfavorable for you. So instead of going with how many you're fighting or what type of species you're fighting, we're going to analyze this by figuring out if it's actually worth it to stay in the fight or not. Or you're in a situation where you decide to be a menace to the society. I'll come back to that later. Normally, I would put up this disclaimer that any future update may change this creature's playstyle, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't think there's going to be any updates that will give the copy any more advantages against any other bigger creature. One last thing, I will focus on solo gaming for copy in this video, so no team play, or at least it's not the main focus. For Arsenal, we have the head ability with the standard bite ability that causes medium damage, I would like to point out this, even though it says medium damage, don't expect it to be powerful. The creature's size and weight does affect the damage it can deliver. Take for example a Concavenator and Allosaurus. Currently it does say they do exact same damage I put in their bites despite the size difference, but let's put that into a test. Let's see if there's any difference if they bite in the same spot on a creature with 1000 HP. If we put these side by side, we can see that the Allosaurus does do a bit more damage. In simpler terms, size does affect the amount of damage you deal. This is bad news for our little friend who is literally the smallest creature in the game. Skipping metabolism, we have hide and we have three options. We have standard hides with neither positive nor negative effects. Ambusher hide that allows any copy to deal 25% extra damage but lose 25% in armor and light whale scales that increases speed but decreases turning speed. I would go with Ambusher because you don't really need extra speed with Compi, you are already one of the fastest creatures. Tail Slap that does low damage and deals knockback to small creatures. Uh, I feel like this ability was added in as a joke. You are literally one of the smallest creatures in game. For voice we have two slots, which means we can equip two call abilities, and you can see we have two options. First we have Murmuration, which are basically just a healing call, which can be stacked up to 5 times. Then we have Chirping Hell, which basically just increases your damage output, and can be stacked up to 10 times. Everyone have their own preference, but this is at least what I use. When it comes to what subspecies you should grow, 
I would just go with either balanced or attack. Most creatures are going to one shot you no matter what subspecies you choose so going for defense is rather not smart. Most people believe that because compies are so small they don't have any natural enemies. You're wrong, they have three. Yes you do, mostly these three and if you get hit by these you'll most likely get killed. As for speed subspecies, the default speed on Compi are already pretty good. Investing more in that regard would also be a waste. Before we go into what terrain you should choose to fight in, we need to talk about the range of attack. Since you are the smallest creature, that means you'll also have the shortest range of your attacks, which means if you want to hit your opponents, you need to get up close. In this case, the Compi's size will actually work in your favor. It is so small that you will be underneath the hitbox. At least for the really tall creatures, which will probably be the apexes, it will be really difficult to hit you. In which case they will have no choice but to hunk you down and make it easier for you to hit them, since you don't have to jump to ensure a hit. Of course that does mean you'll be in their range, so do be careful of that. As for terrain, as expected, with your high agility, mobility and speed, not to mention stamina, an area with a lot of hindrances will make you really difficult, if not impossible, to keep track of you, making you basically untouchable and therefore impossible to kill. What your target most likely will do is hope that a lucky hit can get you, in which case will be fatal for you because most things will one hit you. That is not to say that elevated areas is bad for you, as a matter of fact, the fall damage resistance is quite something. Even if you get hurt, you have your healing call. If that wasn't OP enough, remember you can stack this call up to 5 times. This can even be further improved by sleeping. The normal healing for copy isn't too bad either. Though it is to be expected since it's such a small creature. Because you are a literal mosquito compared to the rest of the creatures in the game, there aren't much you can do on your own. So unless you want to be a menace to society, you should really choose a target that is worth hunting. Let's see how much nothing we do to a creature that is not worth hunting. Okay, while not completely nothing, this is allowed damage, most creatures aren't just going to let you bite them. If you want real potential damage, you need a sleeping creature, which isn't easy to come by. Ok, I think my point got across. To do significant damage as a solo compi, you need fully sleeping creatures. And yes, I know I'm doing this on a high tier like Eurexi, but I say this applies to low tiers as well. As expected, compis are best suited for against juveniles. But a juvenile from a high tier class might still be too much for a solo copy, so it's best to tackle them as a group. It is a different matter if it's a juvenile from a low tier. While the adults might be difficult to keep up with, juveniles, you can literally toy with them. And the damage output you can do to them are pretty scary. In contrast, the damage they can do to you are pretty pathetic. Even if you get hurt, you still have your healing call. Now there is this last category, but before that, compis have the advantage of being so scrawny that even if you bite someone, they will most likely not chase you because it is simply not worth their time. 
if you can get someone or even a pack to actively hunt you, then you have definitely done something to get on their bad side. In either cases, while overall speed can be debated, with your high mobility, agility, terrain compatibility, and your better stamina, you are basically untouchable. Which means if you do get killed, that is because you didn't choose to run away, which means you stuck around until they got a lucky hit on you, or you got careless and then got stomped. So to summarize, if you're going to go after something that is bigger than you, basically all of them, alone or in a group, it's usually not worth it unless you're fighting against a low tier. Though it's sometimes funny to be a bully, if you want to be a jerk and ruin everybody else's gameplay experience, then by all means just do hits and run and maybe you can get them to go walk off a cliff or something. By the way, if you do so, you'll probably be the most wanted player on the server and you'll probably be hunted down. As for juveniles, I say it's a fair game unless the parents are there. Bomb rush the child, activate your calls and just bite 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 bite. Also, if you do sustain damage, just use your healing calls. And lastly, if you actually manage to piss off an entire pack and get them to actively chase you, then just run. Even if they can keep up with your speed, as long as you use any type of hindrances like trees or bushes, you might be able to shake them off. Normally, I would try to end the video off with something funny, but seriously, I feel like this entire video was just a joke, so I'm just gonna end it. Bye bye!